An ambitious, aggressive, you ain't seen nothing yet, 2016 agenda unveiled by Governor Cuomo today to tackle corruption, homelessness, and a lot of other things. CBS2 political reporter Marsha Kramer has more tonight from the state capitol. There are so many things that Governor Cuomo wants to do, they fill 504 pages of this book. A top priority is the homeless problem. And we will not allow people to dwell in the gutter like garbage. He said he'd do something to fix New York City's homeless problem, and today Governor Cuomo laid out his proposals. $10 billion to build 100,000 units of affordable housing, $10 billion for the homeless, including 20,000 units of supportive housing, 1,000 emergency shelter beds. And in a move some might see as a slap at Mayor de Blasio, the governor asked Comptroller Scott Stringer to audit and inspect all city shelters to make sure they're safe and clean. Shelters that they find to be unsafe or dangerous will either immediately add local police protection or they will be closed. Shut them down. If you have children and families living in deplorable, dangerous conditions, we have an obligation to either clean it up or get people moved out of these shelters. I think that that's an excellent approach. I mean, we're paying over a billion dollars a year in the city of New York to run a shelter system. And after the convictions of former Assembly Speaker Sheldon Silver and former Senate Majority Leader Dean Skelos, Cuomo called for numerous ethics reforms, including including forcing corrupt politicians to forfeit their pensions and limiting outside income. Cuomo's speech was interrupted by firebrand assemblyman Charles Barron. He was immediately ejected. But there were also two highly personal initiatives tied to tragedies in his life. Girlfriend Sandra Lee's breast cancer diagnosis produced a new $90 million plan to expand breast cancer screening. And the death of his dad, former Governor Mario Cuomo, led to the call for a 12-week paid statewide family leave program. I have kicked myself every day that I didn't spend more time with my father at that end period. Cuomo aides say that employers won't get stuck paying for family leave. The money will come from a special fund the employees will contribute to. In Albany, I'm Marcia Kramer, CBS 2 News. Marcia says the governor is also calling for a new pre-K program that will include three-year-olds.